Perfect. Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back to our 2-Bit Circus live stream. My name is Evelyn and today we will be doing an exciting project dealing with water. Um, thank you for joining us today and uh, taking the time out of your morning to you know join us on this live stream. Uh, this is our playful learning hour from 10 to 11 where we will be showcasing a few of our like uh, projects that we have um, on our playbook. So this is actually a project called Water Electrolysis, which you can find on page 59. Uh, you can uh, see the whole like uh, standards, materials needed, directions, uh, a few other questions you can ask uh, your students or if you're doing it at home uh, with your kids. Also on the side you can find uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of um, of some fun facts as well that we've added that we thought were interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us and today our project is electrolysis. But just to recap, a few of our projects that we have done in the past dealing with water. For example, I'm not sure if you guys remember, uh, we were, the first one we started off was with uh, metal etching, which was where we uh, used water, distilled water, uh, salt, and we used alligator clips, a 9-volt battery, uh, and a cotton swab uh, with a stainless steel uh, dog plate to kind of etch out a design. I'm not sure if you guys recall that project, but that was the first one of, a, of our series um, that I've done. The second one was just last week, water desalination, where we had um, salt water and we tried to boil it, evaporate all the salt out of um, the salt water that we had to create our like purified water that we had. Um, but now today we will be starting with water electrolysis. So just to give you a bit of recap here, uh, let me just scroll down. What is water electrolysis, right? Can you guys comment down below what, before I tell you what you guys think water electrolysis is? No. Um, but just to give you a background, water is made out of, of hydrogen and oxygen molecules. So these hydrogen and uh, oxygen molecules bond to form a uh, compound, which gives us water. Um, and through the process of electrolysis, we can separate these molecules inside of the water. Um, basically, electrolysis just means separating or splitting up these molecules into like uh, their uh, gaseous form, which is O2 and H2, which um, if uh, you recall back in chemistry class, those are like some gases um, that form. Um, or like vice versa, uh, you can use also another example is uh, steam, right? When we evaporate uh, or boil water. Um, again, thank you for joining us. I know a few of us are just hopping on. So yeah, thank you. Uh, and today, like I said, we will be getting started with our project called Electrolysis. Um, and yeah, just once again, water electrolysis is uh, decomposition of water um, into oxygen and hydrogen gas through the presence of an electric current. Sorry, I missed that component of very important component that is uh, electricity. So in order for this reaction to happen, uh, besides, um, sorry, in order for this reaction to happen, you would need to have, for example, a power source to kind of split up and cause uh, this uh, the energy stored between these bonds to kind of separate and yeah we can, we'll visually see the reaction happening here today but yeah just to give you a bit of like a background of what is water electrolysis and just to uh, get into our project I will be describing or telling you guys what materials you need today so first off is a uh, table salt the next one we're gonna use is baking soda I know uh, before you guys uh, tune in into the stream today. You guys saw the list of materials I have. Those are the materials you can use as well, but today I'm going to go a little bit in deep and just try it out with different properties. For example, uh, like I said, uh, we're going to try it out with uh, table saw. We're going to try it out with baking soda. We have here soap or any type of detergent that you have as well. Um, also, distilled water. I have it labeled here just so I can differentiate from these other two that have uh, water, but it's tap water. Uh, food coloring so we can see, visually see, because you know water is clear. Uh, and I want you guys to get a, a visual look and representation of what uh, is happening in the reaction. So food coloring would be really good to differentiate uh, what's happening in each uh, example that we're testing out today. Also, like I said, a uh, source, power storage, which is a 9-volt battery. 
Um, so rubber bands, we'll be trying out trying this project out with pencils too as well. I know this is like a common one, uh, using pencils and using salt uh, in this project. So I stopped off with alligator clips as well too. Um, we'll need some a couple of screws here. I will show you below above. Just simple uh, screws or nails would work fine. I have these. I have a, an assortment of different nails and screws and you know just to kind of show off the different types of experiments that we can create um, but yeah just like make sure it has to be like a stainless steel metal metal nails like this as you can see here these are my nails I'm just placing them inside here and I have these as well uh, and also some rubber bands, um, a few popsicle sticks just to stir around the solution, aggregate clips, and I think that is, I think that's, I've explained everything. So now we're going to start off with our first example, which is a common one, like I said, it's the pencils and uh, salt. So what I'm going to do is just start off with... The salt. Let me just put all of this to the side and there we go. So I'm going to grab here a container so I can uh, show you guys up close while these will, re will remain like just more on the board um, but just to give you an up close look at the reaction I'm going to grab uh, this little upcycled uh, material that we have here on our uh, maker space um, so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to drill two holes in the center just where I just enough so I can insert uh, my pencils through them and so what I'm gonna grab here is my drill <laughs> make sure you guys are caref careful um, when you're utilizing this uh, drill because you know it can get stuck in your hair so I'm just gonna wrap up my hair just for now so it doesn't get in the way and of course parents please be mindful and do this part uh, or unless you trust your child and is old enough to kind of have enough force um, and you know safety comes first uh, yeah just keep an eye out for the little ones and so what I'm gonna do here is just drill two holes in the center um, just drill here again just make sure you have some distance between yourself and we're just gonna drill here all right here we go so we have our first hole here. I'm not sure if you can tell from above. We have our first hole. Let me just there we go. And since this this is plastic, it is a little harder to drill. So I would recommend um, for the parents to do this part. You can um, of course skip this part. I'm just using. Uh, this container because it has the lid and I want to show you guys up close the reaction that will be happening um, but yeah you can also use like a plastic container like I have here uh, and use cardboard like puncture like two holes um, in the center uh, puncture yeah using cardboard puncture puncture two holes uh, that's easier you know cardboard is just uh, easier to manage so I'm gonna go ahead and just puncture another hole here
we have our hole. I'm gonna use some scissors just to clip off this excess uh, plastic that just melted here. There we go. All right, so now that we have our two holes here, we're gonna put our drill away, make sure you keep it off, uh, put it on the lock so you know it doesn't accidentally turn on. Put that to the side. Uh, we're gonna grab some uh, water. We're gonna use our tap water first. So we're gonna pour it about half way. Just like that. Or just enough until uh, you can have the metal. Uh, sorry, the lead here of the pencil uh, touch. <laughs> um, so then we're gonna grab our food coloring here. Let's see, what color should we use? Should we use blue or green? Oh, let's go with, with green. Green is a nice color. So we're gonna add just like a few droplets of food co coloring in here. Just like this. So you can tell I'm dropping just one or two or three, just enough, yeah. That honestly looks very cool. That looks really dope. <laughs> yeah, okay. So then I'm gonna grab uh, like a, something to stir it around with, a stick here that I have, and just use it to stir it. It. just enough so like the whole coloring the food coloring dissolves and we have one solid green color uh, I am going to now glue this lid here. sorry I forgot it's easier just if I cut it if I cut the lid all right so now I have my lid here and I have my hot glue gun be very cautious of uh, this hot glue. It, it is very big um, and it tends to heat up a lot. So just be very cautious of that. So yeah, we're gonna do it very quickly just around the lid on the side. There we go. And just place it on the lid. Like that. And so I'm just going to cut off this excess of plastic here. Hopefully that stayed in place. That should. Alright, and yeah, you want to like make sure all the sides are tightly squeezed and have uh, glue. So here is what we're gonna do next: is we're gonna prep our battery source here, uh, and I'm going to use. My alligator clips, or other known as jumper wires, I've heard as well. And I'm going to attach one side of the 9 volt battery to my alligator, allig alligator clip, uh, just so it has like a negative side. And another color just to differentiate so I don't get confused we're gonna use green as our positive side so here we go uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our pencils inside the hole just enough to where it touches the water great so we have our pencil right in there. So you can see up close, our pencil should be here. 
And now we're going to do the same thing to the other pencil. Let me know if you guys had this like weird thing in um, in like school or elementary when we were all like fascinated with like using sharpeners. I had this, I don't know, this, this thing where I really like to have my pencils really sharpened because I feel like I wrote nicer with it, having like a very fine um, and sharpened pencil. I was like, yeah. I think this one needs a little bit of sharpening, just in case. <clears throat> so I have my sharpener here, and I'm going to just gently um, sharpen it. Just one more time. There we go. That should be fine. And again, I'm going to insert one of these here. So I know I skipped partly like two or three steps because um, I just jumped ahead uh, and to save time. I grabbed two pencils that I just had in my backpack. I took out the metal part, like the eraser part, uh, on one end of the pencil. Uh, I just took that out, sharpened both ends uh, so they're pointy like this. And so now I'm going to attach uh, my yellow alligator clip to one side of to the tip of my pencil so make sure it is touching the alligator clip it's touching the lead part of it like that and then I'm going to attach uh, my positive side to the other side where it's touching the lead so now you can see the reaction that is happening here you can slowly start to see if I can just flip it to this side. Slowly see the bubbles forming inside. Oops. So let's try that again. One side negative. The other side is on my positive side. Like this. So if I lift this up, can you guys tell um, that the bubbles are starting to form and it's causing a reaction so you can tell one side does have more it's forming more bubbles than the other side I'm not sure if you guys can tell so maybe if I do if I slant it a little bit this way like on its side if I show you on its side you can see the bubbles are starting to form so I'm not sure if you noticed but our negative side seems to form a lot more bubbles than our positive side. So positive side has a few visible bubbles, but not as much as our negative side. Like that. So this was one of our projects here. One of our one of our examples actually. So now I'm going to put this to the side and you can kind of tell as soon as I took off the the battery pack the bubbles are starting to kind of disappear. But just to give you like an overhead look I'm going to start with uh, my first uh, my second example actually using uh, distilled water and in this example uh, I'm going to use the nails here that I have on the side. So I'm going to use uh, these two pairs of nails. And we're going to try it first, just distilled water, meaning uh, distilled water, meaning it's just purified and we know what's in our uh, water. So there's a lot of like a process of purification that goes through distilled water so again just reiterating what I just did on the second one I'm going to take uh, one and just put it inside here just like that and make sure not to put your finger inside the water because we don't want anything you know kind of like electricity dealing with yeah with here 
so I have my two examples here. Oops. And I see nothing happening. Compared to our first uh, example when we were using uh, lead with our alligator clips, there's not, not a reaction happening here. So this tells me that using um, this process, electrolysis, to you know, break apart these bonds, it's not effective with, with the distilled water. Because as we can tell, it worked pretty well with the first example we did. You can see the bubbles forming at the ends of the lead, um, and one side had more bubbles on the other side. So yeah, we can tell there, there aren't any bubbles forming here. And I'm making sure my connections are all solid and yeah, so in conclusion, distilled water does not <laughs> cause a reaction. However, I do want to add a component which is salt water. If we add salt, because it is kind of like ionized, meaning it has um, some type of charge, Will it um, cause a reaction or will it not? Okay, let me just catch up on comments. Sorry, I've been <laughs> so into my project, but let me just catch up into uh, the sound is so satisfying. Uh, let's see, please, I, I love chemistry. I love chemistry too. Really interesting. Okay, I think I think we're we're pretty good. And thank you guys again for joining uh, me this morning today. <clears throat> we're doing a project called electrolysis, which you can which you can find um, on our playbook on page fifty nine. Yeah. And so again, this has been here for a while, and not a single bubble has formed. However, I'm going to remove these. Just remove them. I'm going to paper towel here just put on the side put this on the side like that and just adds a couple of salt water to see if there's some type of charge that can happen let me just stir it so there we added a little bit of salt so we're going to stir it until it dissolves yeah. and you can see our salt water isn't dissolving which is interesting to know about um, distilled water but if however on the other case if it was tap water I'll show you the comparison so you can see the salt is just like gathering up here in the center and if I there you go it is dissolving all right nice we have our dissolved salt in the water now I'm gonna put that to the side now since it has salt inside my water I'm going to Try it again and see if there we can catch some type of reaction. So again, you want the metal part touching um, the nail. So I'm gonna put that here. And do the same thing to my other nail. Right. So again, I have both of my nails here and I'm not seeing any type of bubbling. Interesting. This is very interesting. Interesting how like chemicals and these bonds work together. Yeah. So if I hold them here. There is no reaction happening, so that I can give you a closer look. And from the side as well, there is no bubbling, nothing happening around um, with our distilled water.
Oh, actually, never mind. So, distilled water, let me show you the other side of it. Okay. So, if you can tell, my distilled water is bubbling. You can see how my negative side has some foam inside. So, let me give you a closer look. So when we added salt, and you see how it's changing color as well. This is very cool. Would you guys um, know why one side is bubbling more than the other? Does it have to do with, I don't know, like the amount of charge it is generating? Just curious, would you guys? Do you guys know why one side is bubbling more than the other side? So yeah, there we go. We confirmed that putting salt in distilled water does give it a charge. Does uh, cause a reaction and it's causing it to form. So there you go. Awesome. So now we're gonna move on to our next example, which is using baking soda. I'm gonna put this aside, put it here, and you can see how the color changed too as well, which is very, very cool. And this is without adding any food coloring, which is plain uh, distilled water, adding it to the cup, to the container here. And so now what we're gonna do is move on. This is again tap water. So now we're forward, um, going forward, we're just uh, stuck with tap water. And in this example, I'm going to add a pinch of baking soda. Because in the first example, if you guys remember, this is just using tap water and um, our pencils. <clears throat> the second one that we just did was using distilled water. In the first uh, round, it didn't work. Um, but if we added salt to the distilled water, it caused a reaction. But now let's see what happens when we add baking soda. There we go. So now we're going to stir. Make sure you dissolve the entire baking soda here. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. Oh, is that alcohol? Hi, Sweeta. Thank you for joining, <laughs> joining me today this morning. And there you go. So this solution has now been um, sodium, I'm sorry sodium, baking soda with water. Yeah. So let's see what reaction we have with our baking soda. I'm going to use another pair of um, my nails here. I'm going to just wipe it off. I use them. Alright, here we have it. We're going to connect our positive side to one end. And put it inside. And then we're going to add our negative side to the other end. And let's see what 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 reaction we see here? Let's see. All right. So just by observing this first, I notice that the positive side again, sorry, the positive side is um, bubbling up faster. Of course, we've noticed that trend so far with the first two. 
with the pencil, our positive side was boiling up, and then now it is here too. Sorry, not positive side, our negative side. So you can see here. And let me show you from the front view of this. Let me just switch it so you guys can see. It's fine, it's okay um, if the alligator clips just fall inside, that is definitely okay. But I wanted to show you the front view of this happening together. Of this happening. So just give it some time. And you can tell that our yellow side, which is our negative side, is boiling, t is bubbling up. very cool so I'm not sure if you guys know but I was reading that uh, water electrolysis is being considered or being um, you know they're finding scientists are finding ways to use this as renewable energy which I think you know it's a very very like smart idea the more like al alternatives we have the I'd say the better And since we added our baking soda, we can hear like a little sizzling sound going on. But yeah, you guys. I hope you really, you guys really try this at home. Um, most of these are basic materials <coughs> that you can find at home, like baking soda is used for cooking. I know a lot. Um, or you know, just simply have it in your freezer, and I think it's like a good alternative for like, um, de like a deodorant for your fridge. It kind of get gets rid of like uh, smells, unwanted smells that you want. So just having like a box of uh, sodium helps like get rid of that smell. Um, table salt because you know it's it's needed very much. Um, water, of course. Uh, food coloring. This one, I'm not sure if everyone may have it, but, you know, food coloring for baking or not even baking, but just, like, um, I remember, like, back in elementary when we would have, like, these book fairs, um, we would have, like, uh, like, if you remember the Dr. Seuss book, uh, Green Am, Green Eggs and Ham, like, uh, we would have, uh, Green Eggs, and I was, like, wondering why, but, you know, it was because of the power through food coloring. I was, like, how did my eggs turn green? I thought they were, like, yellow or white. Uh, just, yeah. Um, and yeah, if you can tell here, they keep dropping. If you see them side by side, you can see how one side is, um, is bubbling more than the other one. So let me just hold it. And yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions or just like comment some interesting facts that you guys know about water, if you guys can. And yeah, again, you can hear like a little sizzling sound by adding uh, baking soda to this. And yeah. So cool. Now, this is our reaction where we are breaking up these hydrogen and oxygen molecules um, <clears throat> and they're forming like some type uh, of gas so as we know water is H2O which has two hydrogen molecules and then one oxygen that bonds so I have my oxygen and my hydrogen and hydrogen um, molecules forming to form water um, and now when we're doing this by adding electricity we're able to separate uh, those two molecules into different components yeah so just to recap again um, water electrolysis is a decomposition of hydrogen uh, and uh, oxygen uh, through the presence of an electric current which in this case is our 9 volt battery and yeah all right so we're going to move on to our next example which is 
We're gonna use these two, and let's see if uh, we can notice like uh, a difference between the baking soda and how uh, much how many how much bubbles come about. So here I'm gonna show you one last time how it looks up high. You can see how my how the bubbles form. Okay, let me just do this. So if I submerge it there and have this here. Let's see. There you go. So if you can tell like which bubbles which side has more bubbles? And just like a close up look. So hopefully hopefully you guys can see this. And you can tell. Yeah, I definitely noticed that the negative side is bubbling up more. So I'm not sure if you can see the side view of it. But you can see all those bubbles. This is causing a reaction. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put these to the side, take them out. And yeah, now we have our baking soda here. And you can see all the like the little bubbles forming on the sides, this little foam going around. All right, so now we're done with this example. We're going to move on to this one. I'm going to kind of separate water just so I have enough for the other one. Let me see, half and half. That's about good. Okay, we're going to leave this to the side because we do have one last example um, using soap. So I'm going to leave the soap to the end. And I'm just going to... I just want to make sure I have a clean alligator clip before I, I dip it into the other one. Awesome. Okay. It doesn't want to get out. Alright, now what are we going to do? Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm going to use these two here, these two uh, screws that we have. As you can tell, they're very, very like heavy and long, and they're pretty like bulky. So my hypothesis is I think these will not cause a reaction, but yet again, um, the only way to find out is we experiment. But comment if you guys think uh, that using these two screws will cause a reaction. Do you think these uh, will form bubbles if I use them here? So now here I'm using just simply top water and after the top water, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt and see if there's a difference as well. So I'm going to just try it on with this one. One side here. And then my other side here. Let me see if I can do this. All right, so now we're gonna wait and see if there are any bubbles for me. Let's see. So I actually do see some bubbles forming on the negative side. What if I add some food coloring? Do you think adding food coloring will make it visible for you guys to see? Let me go ahead and use a different color. Let's use yellow 
or not yellow, orange, maybe, it looks, it looks red, <laughs> maybe, no, yeah, this is definitely red, okay, so let's just use a drop of yellow, okay, there you go, um, <laughs> where is my stick, right here, so I'm gonna take these out, and just stir it in. There you go. And let's put it back in. And let's hope you guys can notice the bubbles. The bubbles. Oh, I'm going to put water because <laughs> just as <this> dirty. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm rooting for water. No reaction with just water and this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So if we can closely look at the negative side, we do see a bit of some bubbles going on. Some little bubbles going on. Yay. I want to show you guys and give you a closer look. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Uh, yeah. It didn't fall. Okay, maybe if I try putting... Uh-oh. We don't want that. You know, I think I'm going to try and wrap it around um, using rubber bands to tie it around here. Tie my attic. Alligator's clip here. So use one here. Use my alligator clip here. So you guys can tell. And we're rubbing it here as well. Let's see. Hopefully this doesn't fall. What if you increase the voltage? If you increase the voltage, I'm like most likely <laughs> you will find more bubbles um, in this project, but yeah. Huh? Uh, oh. Okay. What? Double voltage. So we have two alligator clips. And we added two. I'm missing one though. I only have one. Put in both. So I have my 9 volt here. Adding it. So I'm adding this one to here. Right? Yeah. And then this one. So now, interesting, um, there was like a suggestion of combining the two 9 volt batteries that I had here. So if you can tell, let me just redo it for you guys, I'll walk you through this process. So I had two 9 volt batteries. I have two alligator clips here, right? So what I did here was just connect my two alligator clips to one 9 volt battery however now the difference is I'm adding this extra 9 volt battery to see if we can increase the voltage and see if we can see like a, a better reaction so in order to do that I'm going to add the green side which is my negative side to the negative side of here so we don't lose a current right we don't want to shorten our battery that's one side. However, I have now another alligator clip, which I'm using now three, um, connecting this one to the positive side. Right? Positive, po positive. <laughs> and so now let's see if we can notice a reaction. I'm just gonna put my thing here. 
Now we have two batteries joining together. Awesome. Okay. Oh, this one came off. I know it may look kind of chaotic, all the wires are here, but uh, trust me, it will be very simple and it will make sense. So now I'm going to attach here one nail. I'm curious to know now if I use this bulky nail and what happens if I use my little thin nail that I had before. So we're going to go ahead and do both. So now here I'm placing it and I'm going to place my other one too. Bubbles are definitely important. However, let's see if you guys can notice that up close and on this side. So you can see on this side here, let me just rotate it. You can notice the little bubbles forming. While this other side has a little bit, but yeah, mainly this side has a lot. Again, my negative side has a lot more. So, there you go. Let's see if I can lift this up for you guys. And if you guys can tell that the one I have here on my left side is really, really bubbly. So, yeah, this is very cool. All right, I'm gonna just leave it in here for a few more seconds and then we're gonna try it on our thinner nails that we have here. <coughs> but yeah. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that's definitely bubbly. And this is a great project for, uh, I would say like, uh, elementary or um, middle school students because it is teaching them about like uh, it, energy of course how energy is stored into like uh, these molecules called bonds and how these bonds release energy that can be used uh, the heat energy uh, release um, or the heat released uh, to say can be used to dif uh, in different ways and in this case, it's just separating our uh, hydrogen and oxygen molecules. So I'm going to use, like I mentioned before, my thinner nails here. So I'm going to use this, clip it here, <laughs> and we're going to add it here. Uh, let's see. We're going to add our next one. All right, so we are getting close to this uh, our live stream but that's okay <laughs> hopefully you guys learned and you guys can do this at home too of course send like project photos to our instagram hashtag like 2 circus org and let's see all right it's gonna take a few seconds for our bubbles to form but they're forming Here we see on this side. Here we see on, again, our native side is really, really boiling up. What if I do it like this? If I don't spill the water, you guys can see up close the reaction. Let's see if you guys can notice that up there. So I'm leaning the water just so you guys can see how different the negative side is compared to the positive side like that oh yeah that's definitely a reaction so yeah I did notice that adding like this second 9 volt battery is increasing um, the amount of bubbles it's uh, generating and pumping out so 
I hope you guys can see that. So this is kind of like the similar you would see if you were to have like a, um, like those tablets that you can put in water and how it like quickly dissolves and bubbles up really quickly. Yeah, that's similar. It's a, a minimal. Oh, my. My vote battery unplugged, but that's fine. But yeah. You can see it bubbling. This is another <laughs> another example that you can use is this uh, battery pack, which is 11.1 11 1, 11 .1 volt compared to a 9 volt. So you can compare the difference and uh, see if using a higher uh, voltage battery can generate more power. So this is very interesting. Whoa. This is very heavy. I can imagine the the amount of like um, voltage our car batteries have, or like our buildings have to produce so much light uh, and electricity. Sorry, in general. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah. All right. So just moving on here. Our last example would be our nails with salt water. So we didn't do that one yet. The one we started off um, with was using pencils here. Using pencils here. Um, using the 9 volt battery here to produce the process known as electrolysis. Water electrolysis. So let's see. If this would be a better example. Oops. Let me just remove this. This battery here. And remove this, put it to the side. This one we will touch in a bit. But yeah. So I have all my connections here. Let me just remove this. So like, so many wires <laughs> stuck. Okay, now we're good. Awesome. Now we have this one here. We have our current floating. There we go. Let me just re-secure those. And it's touching my lid. And yeah, now you can definitely notice that if I tilt it up like that, the bubbles. Let me see if I can put it down here. Put this one up. So yeah. So yeah. There we go. Awesome. So. So we have here alligator clips and our metal touching each other. So yeah, definitely increasing the voltage. Now we're having two 9 volt batteries can increase the voltage. And you can see the bubble. That's really crazy. So since we just have a few minutes left, I'm going to quickly just speed through uh, this one. And let's go ahead and use the pencil example, just so you can see. Oh my god, it's so stuck. Okay, there we go. And you're going to add a tiny bit of table salt to here. This is just tap water, adding sodium, and if, um, yeah. Sodium chloride, hence just FYI, <laughs> it's just table salt, fancy for table salt. And so now we have um, an electrolyte, you know, 
An electrolyte? Yeah. There we go. We're gonna use this. Should we add food coloring? Let's quickly add food coloring. Where is my yellow one? Or we can let's just skip that. Alright, here. There we go. And this one to here. So now let's see both of them. Kinda. So I have my negative and positive side. So I wanted to show you guys a closer look, but there we go. Let's see if you guys can tell the bubbles for me. So in conclusion, we're gonna um, just recap what we did today here. Uh, this is a project called Water Electrolysis, which is basically just splitting up um, the hydrogen and oxygen molecules inside water um, uh, and forming like a gas. You know, these, please be very careful with uh, the little ones and making sure that they don't dip their finger inside uh, while you have pencils or, you know, any other like, um, um, like nails, for example, in the example that, in the example that we used today, not letting them. Just using plain tap water, uh, and we saw that it caused a reaction. Ooh, you can hear that sound. Um, but uh, the next one was using distilled water. Uh, yes, an example that you can tell uh, on the screen there. That's exactly what was happening. You know, all these molecules um, and bonds are like now transitioning into a different phase, which is now like a, a gaseous stage, um, and they're really releasing oxygen gas and hydrogen gas. Um, yeah. And the next example that we did was uh, distilled water and salt. Adding distilled water and salt. We saw a reaction, of course, definitely. The next one was our baking soda. And we saw a reaction there, too. Um, I would also recommend using, like, an acid, which would be kind of like a citrus fruit, which uh, uh, an example of it would be orange. An orange or a, a lemon. Like a yellow lemon. That would also be another example, but yeah. And again, these are very easy materials to find at home. Um, and again, if you're using pencils, make sure you use a container, a plastic container uh, that you won't need in the future because you don't want to mix that up with the rest of your like dishes um, at home, you know. Keep those uh, project plates separate from, you know, uh, food. So, you know, don't cross-contaminate others as well. And, yeah. So, now we have our conclusion. I will leave you guys with this. Hopefully, you guys uh, take this project do it at home. Uh, make sure to tune in next week. Same time, 10. Uh, make sure to check us out on Facebook, right? Our Instagram, we do post daily um, on what projects we will do and have a schedule for that entire week also youtube um is another alternative for the live stream and of course we're always excited to hear you uh see project photos as well so thank you thank you kate for watching <laughs> uh and yeah thanks for everyone hopefully you guys have a nice day and make sure to tune in at 4 p.m uh with leah and uh dejana for parents and yeah